What's it guys, the Oscar for today. I'm going to be comparing the iPhone 6s and iOS 12.4 to the iPhone 6s Plus and iOS 13 Beta 1 today. So I'm going to show you that they're on the respective versions. I'm going to software update here. You see 12.4 and 13.0. So first up, the boot up test. So these do have the same chip in them, A9. So this speed test video will show if 13 is actually faster than 12 to compare to what Apple said on the keynote. Uh, six, so 6s six Plus powered down first. So the 6s just finished. So 3, 2, 1. And they're off. Uh, tell me comments below which one will put up first. The iPhone 6s on iOS 12 or 6s Plus on iOS 13. So Apple said that the iOS 13 is going to be faster than 12. So just put up to us will show me. And yes, iOS 13 boot up much quicker than 12 did. So iOS 12 took a few seconds longer, so really interesting there. So iOS 13 boots up faster than 12, so really nice to see that. Next up, third-party app launching for Solo Walk 2, 3, 2, 1. So it looks like iOS 13 might open it this time. Yep, iOS 13 loaded faster than 12, so really nice to see that. Next up, a big application. Fortnite, three, two, one. So, this, the, I think the bigger the game, the slower it's gonna load. And yes, the 6S on iOS 12 loaded first. So iOS 13 loaded a bit slower this time. So, really strange. Because 13 is in beta, so this will get better with time. So, really interesting. Next up, YouTube. Mm, well, I was 12 loaded it faster this time. Next up, Apple Store. I was 13 loaded it faster. Beats Pill, 3, 2, 1. I was 13 loaded it faster again. My Disney Now app, 3, 2, 1. So I was 13 did the intro screen first. So now see if it loads it first. Yep, iOS 13 definitely loaded it faster, so really nice to see the nice speed improvement. Next up, iTunes, 3, 2, 1. iOS 12 loaded it faster this time. App Store. Same way, iOS 12 loaded faster that time. Camera, about the same. Calendar, iOS 12 loaded faster, so this is still a beta, so iOS 13 will get faster with time. Next up, reminders. iOS 13 loaded faster. Home. 13 loaded faster again. Next up, Apple Watch app. iOS 13 loaded faster. Tips. iOS 13 loaded faster again. Next up, calculator. 12 loaded faster. Compass. iOS 13 loaded faster. What's the most? iOS 13 did load that one faster, so. Next up, web pages. So, Apple.com. So, iOS 12 loaded that one faster. YouTube. iOS 12, 13, I meant, loaded that faster than 12 did. So, really interesting test there. Next one. Next one is AT&T. So, 12 loaded that one faster. So, Really interesting speed test there. So, overall, 13 definitely is a bit faster in some areas than iOS 12 is. So, really interesting test. And I also I want to add on, some of you guys have been asking me how to install iOS 13. But today I'm going to show you how to do that. First up, you have to go to this website right here, betaprobots.com. And you'll have to get the IPSW file right here. So, when you click IPSW, You'll have to select your device right here from iPhone's categories, from iPad, the iPad mini, and the iPod touch. So for the iPad category right here, it'll get the iPad Pros, the iPad 5 and 6, the Air 3 and Air 2, and the Pro 9.7, the Pro 12.9 is first generation. When we click the minis, it'll give the option for the mini 5 and the mini 4, and for the iPod touch 7th generation. So. Once you do that, you have to go to your download section on your on your Mac, 
running Mac OS Catalina or Xcode 11. So you have the best option is to go to Xcode 11 is the best option to go with. So after you do that, it'll take like a, an hour or so to download depending on what device you're using. So I, the way I updated my SE, I used iOS 13's new download manager for Safari. Then I airdropped it to the computer, then installed it from there. So yeah, so after that, it will run slow at first. So it will speed up as, as soon as done installing iOS 13. So I'm just to let you guys know how to install it. So I want to run a few more things on here, like Geekbench. So I'm gonna run the Geekbench now, and I'll come back to you guys once it's done, done, do it downloading or like processing. Okay, guys. So I'm back. The test has finished, and as you can see, the single core score is slightly higher than iOS 12 is, but the multi core score is slightly lower than iOS 12. I see iOS 12 got 45.10, and iOS 13 got 44.50. So slightly lower, but that's to be expected with the beta versions, and this should improve over time as the betas go on and it releasing to the public in September, so, yep. So this last test is, I want to do the Siri compares comparisons today, so, like, ask Siri what time it is, tell a joke, and ask Siri's math problems, so opening apps, and searching in Safari, so, all those, for example. First up, I'm gonna ask Siri what time it is in Cupertino, for an example. What time is it in Cupertino, California? It's 4.30 p.m. in Cupertino, California. So as you can see, iOS 12 did did get the results first. iOS 13 was slightly slower. It has to be expected with the beta version, so. Next up, tell a joke. Tell me a joke. A telescope Why did just turned up in our lost seance? and found box. To we get don't to know the other who it belongs to, but we're looking into it. So as you can see, it was hard to tell. They look like it's coming at the same time, so tell me comments below which one came first, because I couldn't tell. So, this next one is op opening a few apps with Siri. <clears throat> Open camera. So I think Siri, see Siri took the command first in iOS 13, but it opened the app faster on 12. Next up, TV. Open TV. So as you can see, even though iOS 12 launched the app first, iOS 13 opened it faster. So, really interesting test there. Next up, reminders. Open reminders. So as you can see, iOS 13 opened reminders faster than iOS 12 did. So, really, really good speed there. Next up, home. Open home. Nope, iOS 12 will open it faster. Open App Store. Exactly the same. Open iTunes. Which of these would you like? So, it wasn't, that was not not accurate test there because apparently this one, I had two apps installed for iTunes, so this iOS 3 definitely launched it faster. I'll try it again. Open iTunes Store. So, about the same there. This next one, open Solo Walk 2. Nope, iOS 12, yep, iOS 12 loaded it faster. So, really interesting results there. So next up, I'm gonna do a few math problems for Siri to try to see if the speed improved there. Which 50 divided by 50. It's one. The answer is one. So, really interesting there too. So, obviously, iOS 12 loaded it faster than iOS 13, so, really interesting. What's 100 times 1,000? It's that one one times 1,000. About the same there, so, really interesting. So, the speed is kind of intermittent there, so, really interesting. This next one is, I'm going to ask Sarah to search on the web like some web pages, load apple.com. So obviously it was about this, iOS 12 opened the app first, but iOS 13 was faster launching it. So really interesting. This next one is load youtube.com. 
obviously 13 was faster. So that so that's pretty much it. So iOS 13 speed is kind of intermittent right now. So in some areas it's fast, some areas it's not. So you guys should probably wait until like beta 2 or something on the older devices before you update. So if you're having a newer device like an iPhone 7 and higher, you'll notice the speed difference almost immediately. So that's pretty much it for this video. If I did a video, give it a thumbs up. It's my video. Peace out.